How are aircraft tires built? Aircraft tires play a critical role in ensuring the safety and performance of aircraft during takeoff, landing, and ground operations. These tires are engineering marvels designed to withstand extreme conditions, including high speeds, heavy loads, and sudden impacts. The process of manufacturing aircraft tires is a complex interplay of advanced material science, meticulous engineering, and rigorous quality control, reflecting the crucial demands placed on these components in aviation. Aircraft tires differ significantly from those used in other vehicles due to the unique and demanding conditions they face. A typical passenger aircraft, such as a Boeing 737, lands at speeds around 150 to 170 miles per hour and supports a load of approximately 40,000 kilograms per tire. For larger aircraft like the Boeing 777 or Airbus A380, the load and speed requirements are even higher. Aircraft tires must not only absorb the energy of landing, but also maintain structural integrity under these extreme forces. The engineering of aircraft tires involves a detailed understanding of material properties and dynamic forces. Key considerations include load-bearing capacity. Aircraft tires must support significant weight, including the entire mass of the aircraft during landing and ground operations. The tires must absorb the high impact energy generated during landing without suffering damage or blowouts. The tires must perform reliably at high speeds, often exceeding 170 miles per hour, and in some cases reaching up to 280 miles per hour. Aircraft tires are expected to endure multiple takeoff and landing cycles, often up to 500, without requiring significant maintenance. The tires must function effectively under various weather conditions, including extreme temperatures and precipitation, and resist damage from exposure to sunlight, hydraulic fluids, and other environmental factors. The process of manufacturing aircraft tires can be broadly categorized into several stages. The foundation of aircraft tire manufacturing lies in the preparation of the rubber compound. This involves mixing natural or synthetic rubber with various additives to create a material that can withstand the specific demands of aircraft operations. The precise formulation of the rubber compound can vary depending on the specific requirements of the tire, such as its intended operating speed and load capacity. Initial mixing. The raw rub burr and reinforcing agents are combined to create a preliminary mixture. Final mixing. Additional additives, such as plasticizers and vulcanizing agents, are incorporated into the mixture to achieve the desired properties, cooling and storage. The final rubber compound is cooled and stored in the form of sheets or strips, ready for further processing. Extrusion is used to create the tread and sidewall components of the tire. The rubber compound is heated and forced through a die to create long strips of rubber with a specific cross-sectional profile. These strips are then cut to the desired length and shape. The tread is the part of the tire that comes into direct contact with the runway. It is designed to provide traction and resist wear, and may include features such as grooves to channel water away from the tire during wet conditions. Sidewalls. The sidewall connects the tread to the bead and provides lateral support to the tire. It is typically thicker and more reinforced than the tread to withstand the forces experienced during cornering and landing. The attrusion process ensures that the treads and sidewalls are produced with consistent dimensions and properties, contributing to the overall performance of the tire. Calendaring is used to create the casing plies, which provide the structural strength of the tire. In this process, the rubber compound is rolled out into thin sheets and coated onto layers of fabric or steel cords. Casing plies are layers of fabric, often made from materials such as nylon or polyester, that are coated with rubber to improve their strength and elasticity. The plies are then wrapped around the beads to form the core structure of the tire. The calendaring process ensures that the casing plies and belts are evenly coated with rubber and free from defects, which is essential for the tire's durability and performance. The various components of the tire are assembled into a cohesive structure in the assembly stage. 
placing the casing plies. The casing plies are wrapped around the drum to form the core structure of the tire. Adding the beads, the beads are positioned at the edges of the casing plies and secured in place. Applying the sidewalls, the sidewalls are placed over the casing, plies and beads, providing additional support and protection. Attaching the treads, the treads are positioned on the outer surface of the tire, where they will come into contact with the runway. Bonding the components. The components are bonded together using heat and pressure, creating a single, unified tire structure. The assembly process requires careful alignment and bonding of the components to ensure that the tire performs as expected, under load, and at high speeds. The curing process is a critical stage in the manufacturing of aircraft tires as it transforms the assembled components into a durable and elastic final product. This involves heating the tire in a mold under controlled conditions. The curing process typically takes several hours depending on the size and complexity of the tire. The result is a tire that has the desired strength, elasticity, and surface characteristics. A final inspection is conducted before the tire is approved for use. This includes a comprehensive review of all test results and visual inspections to confirm that the tire meets all performance and safety standards. The manufacturing of aircraft tires presents several challenges including the need for materials that can withstand extreme conditions and the requirement for precise engineering. Advances in material science and manufacturing technology continue to drive innovation in this field. The development of new materials such as high-performance synthetic rubbers and reinforcing agents has improved the durability and performance of aircraft tires. These materials offer enhanced resistance to wear, heat, and environmental factors. Innovations in manufacturing techniques such as automated tire building and advanced curing methods have increased the efficiency and consistency of the tire production process. These techniques reduce the risk of defects and improve the overall quality of the tires. Sustainability is an emerging focus in aircraft tire manufacturing with efforts to reduce waste and improve the recyclability of materials. Aircraft tires are essential components that ensure the safety and performance of aircraft during takeoff, landing, and ground operations. Their ability to withstand extreme forces, high speeds, and harsh environmental conditions is a testament to the skill and expertise of the engineers and technicians involved in their production. As aviation technology continues to evolve, the manufacturing of aircraft tires will remain a key area of innovation and development, driving improvements in safety, performance, and sustainability. That's all the information that we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes. And be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.